Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 10 Game Preview. And today we're going to be going over the Bucks versus the Cardinals. Let's get it started. So the over-under for this game is 52, and the spread is negative 4.5 Tampa Bay. Look at us. Look at us. Leading in the spread. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So um, we're going to start with the Bucks. Jameis Winston, everybody knows he can be up and down. These last two games, 25 points, 24 points against Tennessee, who allows us the 20, 20th most points to the quarterback. That's pretty good. They're pretty decent uh, defense. Seattle is uh, not the greatest defense, tw 11th in the league, but, you know, 24 points, 24 points. Uh, he's been trying to keep his interceptions down. Thank sweet Lord baby Jesus. Um he had five interceptions in week six. Since then, two and zero. He did have two fumbles in week eight, which is terrible. And he had one fumble in week nine, which also looked didn't look pretty good. Um, but I liked it that in week eight, he rushed eight times for 53 yards. I don't think that that's something he's going to be doing all the time. But I'm going to monitor that and see if he keeps doing that. Because if he had some points with his legs and he's throwing for 300 plus a game, he had 400 in week six. 300 in week eight, 335 last week. Very, very solid uh, passing numbers. Uh, he's always going to be the type of person that throws it up. And the Arizona Cardinals are the worst against the quarterback, allowing 25 fantasy points a game. And yes, that includes when Patrick Peterson has been back. Because look at these last few games. They allowed the, they allowed the second most to San Francisco. This is Arizona I'm talking about. The second most to San Francisco, the most to New Orleans. They had a good game against the Giants, but then back to Atlanta with uh, the second most. They even allowed the 10th most fantasy points to the Cincinnati Bengals, and they are hot garbage. So fire up your Jameis Winston. I have, him, have both him and Kyler Murray as a top six play this week. Mike Evans looking amazing last three games 96 yards that's 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 pretty solid looking pretty good oh, oh wait 100 and 198 Woo that's what I'm talking about and then backing it up with another 180 last week let's go two touchdowns uh week eight one touchdown week nine his his receptions and his targets is what I want to I want to point out. This is where it's really huge. 17 targets, 12 targets, 16 targets. That's a lot of targets. That is a lot of targets. He he ranks 13th for the most targets. Actually, hold on. Most targets by wide receiver. He has he's averaging 10 targets a game. The last 4, 17, 12, 16. He's on the field all the time, 90% of the time. Very solid. And again, Arizona is not good against the wide receiver. They're ranked 10th. Take advantage of this. I'm starting him and uh, Chris Godwin, obviously. I think they're both top six, top seven plays this week. Beasting it up. I think they both have fantastic games. I don't think the Arizona is going to be able to stop them with or without Patrick Peterson in the lineup. Uh, I did find this interesting, though. Chris Godwin is actually on the field more than Mike Evans. I figured it would be the other way around considering the targets. Uh, Chris Godwin, 12, 8, 9 targets. Very, very good targets. 10, 4, 7. Seven receptions, also very solid. He's been a very solid wide receiver all year. Loving him. Playing fantastic. He's on the field 96% of the time. That's the third, tied for the third most in the league. Gotta love to see that. Peyton Barber has been playing terrible, probably. Well, I mean, you can see it. Two fantasy points, three fantasy points, one fantasy point. That's the, that's not going to get it done. No way starting Peyton Barber. But, but, Ronald Jones looks like he's carving himself out a little bit of a role in there. 15 fantasy points last week, 18 attempts, 67 yards. The coach says that he's earned some more playing time. Love to hear things like that. Now, he's only on the field for 32% of snaps, but 56% of the time he's on the field, he's getting utilized. 
That's very good. That's the fourth most in the league. So that means when he's on the field, we're using him. Now we just need him to be on the field some more. Love to see this. Love to see this. Uh, and Arizona Cardinals are only the 17th against the running back. So they're middle of the pack. I think that he should have, Ronald Jones should have a fine game. And whoever's going to play tight end is going to play great because Arizona has not been able to guard the tight end all year long. Whether it's OJ Howard or Cameron Bray, I think OJ Howard is coming back this week. And if he does fire him up, he's going to have a great game. And if he doesn't, you can drop him because he's not worth having if you can't do it against Arizona. All right, let's get over to the Cardinals. Kyler Murray had a great game last week against the San Francisco defense, who was the best in the league against the quarterback position. Came out, scored 26. He did it in the air. He did it on the ground. Five rushing attempts for 34 yards. That's a great way to pad the stats. He's not throwing it for too much. Only averaging 226 fantasy or 20, 226 yards per game. Uh, but I do have him in here as a top 10 play for sure. Against the Bucks defense, that's fourth in the league, allowing 23 fantasy points a game to the quarterback position. You'd love to see that. Uh, Larry Fitz, unfortunately, Larry Fitz is showing his age recently. He has not been playing very well, only averaging almost six points a game. I don't think he's startable personally. Even in this fantastic, fantastic matchup, uh, at very best, he is a low influx. But, I mean, the Bucks defense is not good against wide receivers. So, if you need a flyer, I think that Larry Fitz should get you probably about 10. Uh, Christian Kirk, though, I actually think is going to torch uh, the Bucks. He looks fantastic. Even though he didn't have a great game last week against San Francisco. San Francisco is great. 28th against the wide receiver. So I didn't expect him to go out and be gangbusters, but he's on the field, 93% of snaps. That's eighth in the league. Um, I think because the defense against the wide receivers are so bad, the Bucs are ranked second, allowing 30, uh, 30 points to the wide receiver. That has to go somewhere, and I think Chris and Kurt eats. So if you're looking for DFS, I think he's a great play. Bucks are great against the tight end, so I'm not trying to start the tight end over there. Oh, sorry. My bad. Not tight end. I'm actually looking at running back, but David Johnson hasn't been in, so I almost passed over his name. David Johnson, I believe, is going to play this week. Now, I also believed he was going to play the week that uh, Chase Edmonds blew up, but they're saying he's going to play. He feels 100%. Well, we'll see what the hell that means now against a very, very, very stout Bucks defense. Bucks defense is a top three running defense in the league. Only allowing 11.9 points a game. So he's going to have to get this through the air. I see him being more of a wide receiver this game than I do see him being a uh, running back because I think that the run's going to be stuffed. Kenyon Drake, uh, a desperation flex play. I think with David Johnson in the game, I think that they do split it, but I'd say that they split it more 65-35 uh, David Johnson to Kenyon Drake. So I don't really have him as a good play this week, especially against a very tough run defense for the Bucs. Um, if you're super duper 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 desperate, Charles Clay against the Bucs. The Bucs are the second, allow the second most fantasy points to the tight end. Mm, tight end could catch a touchdown in this game. Uh, and I think that's going to do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. Don't forget to check out my social media down below and uh, the rest of the videos that I posted for the week preview and the trade talks. Uh, how to make a trade. The art of the trade is what I'm calling it. Uh, if you have, And uh, I think that's going to do it. So, see you, Bucks fans and fans of everybody else alike. See you the fantasy bay. Good luck this week.